All right, Heather, thank you. A couple of seats on the County Board of Supervisors on the ballot this year. Current 4th District Supervisor Nathan Fletcher will face off against challenger Amy Riker in joining us this morning. Amy is here. Hi, Amy. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, okay, the district here, let's talk about this. La Mesa, Lemon Grove, North Park, Hillcrest as well. Uh, in your opinion right now, uh, the biggest issues facing these districts, what would it be? Because it seems, we're hearing a lot of similarities because the issues seem to be all-encompassing for the county right now. Absolutely. I've knocked on over a thousand doors and I've heard from Democrats, I've heard from independents, I've heard from Republicans. The top three issues in San Diego hands down are cost of living, homelessness, but specifically homeless encampments, and the increase in violent crime. Okay, let's start with the cost of living. If you were elected, how, how would you address that? I think we just have to make it a lot easier for businesses to recover out of the pandemic for the past couple of years. Mm. A lot of the money that has been coming from the federal government to the county level simply isn't reaching the businesses that need it the most so that they can bring people back to work. And the other thing is, is my opponent supports a vehicle mileage tax which would add anywhere from $500 to $900 a year just to use your car in the county. I'm categorically against that, and that would increase the cost of living. I, I wanted to talk to you about the how, because all the other folks that we've had here, all, all the candidates, um, you know, you can point out these are the problems, but it's the, the how, right? Because somebody told me once, like, it's okay to come in and do a complaint and, do, and, and point out a problem, but come in with a solution or two or three, and I know you have some. So how would you go about solving these problems? Absolutely. So in the case of homeless encampments, I do have a different approach than my opponent. My opponent is taking the shelter first approach. And with this approach, we've seen over the past four years, homelessness is only getting worse. And again, it doesn't matter if somebody's a Democrat or Republican. What people are most concerned about are the rise of homeless encampments that are spreading across the county. And so when it comes to people who are living in the encampments. I did a ride along with a 25 year veteran of the San Diego Law Enforcement Agency. And what he is telling us is that the people in the encampments are nearly 100% drug and alcohol addicted. And then a segment of those are also severely struggling with mental illness. And so we have to take an approach where we're gonna offer people treatment. And this is controversial, but if you have somebody who's living in the encampments and they keep re uh, committing crimes over and over and over, we have to give them a loving bottom line, lead with compassion. It's gonna be treatment or it's gonna be jail. Mm. Can we go back to um, the businesses? So we know that we're dealing with inflation. We are starting to hear a lot about the R word, about a possible uh, recession. So how do you help these small businesses who have already been struggling tremendously coming out of a pandemic and are now facing these challenges ahead? How do you do that? Absolutely. Well, I think it's about reaching out to the business community, and that's what I've been doing. In the past couple of years, I'm the co-founder of Reopen San Diego, and we had a coalition of small businesses, and these business people were saying, please help us, and their cries were falling on deaf ears uh, with the county. and so. Since January, I have gone out to different restaurants, Latino-owned restaurants specifically. They're telling me that they're really struggling, and when they reach out to my opponent, they're not being heard from. And so they're talking about issues like uh, supply chain issues. They're seeing increased inflation in, in cost of goods. And so there are things that the County Board of Supervisors can do because, again, we have received hundreds of millions of dollars from the federal government. So let's help San Diegans first. Running for the County Board of Supervisors, 4th District, Amy Reichert, we thank you for the time this morning, Election Day. Uh, you can go vote now. You're going to vote today. That's right. I'm going to go to yeah. the uh, Registrar of Voters right after there this interview and turn in my ballot. You got it. Amy, thank you so much for the thank time. Thank you. Thank you. Good we to appreciate see you. it. Oh, uh, by the way, we have also reached out to Nathan Fletcher for an interview. He has not yet responded.